Hello everyone, I'm Tom with Stock Navigator and this is a weekly market forecast for the week of November 1st, 2021. Right now, over one third of the companies in the SB500 index reported third quarter of 2021 earnings over the last week. They are leaving investors with plenty of market headlines, some good, some bad, but based on the technical analysis, the market is still in the uptrend. The SB500, the NASDAQ, the Dow, they all are making an all-time high. The Russell 2000 is still run behind and try to catch up at many small capital. will report earning the next couple of weeks, hopefully with the better result. They will uh, help the uh, uh, Russia 2000 to put it up. As a trader, we will stick with the uptrend until the trend is changed. On the economy report last week, we see that the consumer confidence and spending will improve even with the higher cost of inflation. Jobless claim it at a new pandemic low. Next week, we should watch out. We should watch out on the FOMC meeting on Wednesday, November third. This is the important news on the bond tapering and the inflation uh, uh, for the remaining year of the 2021. So you will see some volatility on that day. So if you are a day trader, you have to be pay attention for that. Now let's take a look at uh, the chart of the major indices so that we can see where they are. And then I will go deep inside the 11 sector S S3 500 so that we can see more in detail and looking for the strong talk to trade in the month of November. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look on the uh, EBD SB500. So we'll be able to break out the all time high. Uh, we pull back in one day to retest, and then we continue to put it up to the up high. So the momentum is still there, so we'll stick with the uptrend until uh, they hit to the resistance. And if you look at the uh, NASDAQ, which is the technology stock, it's also uh, very strong. They are put to this level and continue to put up to the top there again. The Dow is also uh, pretty strong. They continue to uh, uh, break out, pull back free test. It's very similar to the SP500 and continue to put it up to the upside. Uh, if you look at the uh, Russia 2000, like I told you earlier, they are too sideways choppy. Uh, so right now uh, they pull back and down, but right now they try to gain some momentum here. If they can clear this uh, area of resistance here, it will be more bullish. Uh, in the future, let's see the able to uh, punch to this level here in, in in next month here. All right. So if you look at the uh, 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 cool oil, the cool oil is still uh, bullish, uh, it's still high, high, high low. So the trend is still in the uptrend. The gold is still uh, back and forward here. So they have a trouble to move higher than this level, but. Uh, but the momentum is still there, as long as they don't rub below this level here, it's still uh, bullish, but they have a strong resistance in upper bound here. And if you look at the Bitcoin, the Bitcoin is still uh, pull back, and now they try to find a way to put it back up, as well as the Ethereum, it's still continue to put it to the upside again. So uh, if you look at the volatility index, so it continue to uh, come down. So definitely they will help the market to, to stabilize and move it up. And the 10 year treasury note, like I told you before, they tried to put it back up, they tried to fill up the gap here, couldn't put it higher, so they continue to go down. That also have a technology stock uh, to uh, uh, move higher. And now as you know that the uh, trading is a very risky business. It's not a get rich quick scheme like many people are thinking. If you don't know fundamental and technical analysis and don't understand the market psychology then and without the proper risk management, then for sure you are gamble with the stock market. The uh, expert trader course offered by Stock Navigator will teach you the right education. It will fit your trading objective so that you can be a successful trader or investor. But we understand it's very hard for you to know everything overnight. So we will mentor, support, and trade live with you every day in our live trading room with multiple instructors so that you, until you are successful. And uh, you also get support by our strong uh, Discord community 
with thousands of members willing to share their idea and support new members to achieve uh, your goal. So um, right now, if you uh, look at the uh, uh, couple of uh, stock in this uh, couple of sector here, so I want to show you so you can see how they uh, look like. So first of all, um, you look at the uh, one of the sector very strong that the uh, XTN, which is the transportation, it has been built up momentum and continue to put it to the upside. So they uh, have a, a resistance here, but if they can clear this resistance in the future, definitely a transportation is still uh, have a chance to move it uh, much higher. So a couple of talks that we have been mentioned in last week, like UPS, uh, so they put it up, so they put it back down. So right now they are uh, still in the uptrend, but they will uh, give you a good opportunity so that you can uh, push it up again. The CSX, that's another one, okay, uh, and SC, uh, they all relate to the transportation there, uh, ODFL, okay, so that's pretty strong. And the financial sector, uh, they pull out a little bit uh, because they are running too fast, so they will chop me a little bit, and then because they run here because the uh, interest rate is moving up, uh, uh, so that's why they help them to move back. But now the interest rate pull back down a little bit. So this one they need to correct back a little bit before they can move higher. So uh, some talk in here related to financial like MSCI still pretty strong there. JB uh, yeah, Morgan still hang tight to the upside. Bank America they also doing well. SCSW Charles Schwab they also. Uh, uh, in the upside, okay. And if you look at the technology sector, it's the XLK. They are pretty strong. They are be able to make it uh, all time high here and continue to put it back up. And th this sector, uh, the uh, technology software, uh, they chop a couple days, but now they gain the momentum and put it back up again. And some top there like Microsoft, you see that. They have a good earning and continue to put it back up. <coughs> Apple uh, is still uh, back and forward here, but overall trend is still bullet. And if you look at the XLV, which is <coughs> the healthcare sector, uh, continue to push it up to the upside. So you can see that uh, a lot of stock in this sector is still uh, doing pretty well there. And uh, GTS, that's another one right there. IHF, that's another strong talk there. Uh, the ticket symbol IHF. Okay, they break out and continue to move stronger. The vaccine is still doing well, like Pfizer, okay, for example. And the energy sector, which they uh, try to uh, they run it too fast, so they pull back, but they still have a strong support here. As long as they still stay in this support, the momentum is still there. And some stock are still doing uh, very well, as you can see, like uh, uh, NEE. So they hit some resistance, so they pull back a little bit before they can go higher. PDCE, okay, that's another one. Uh, CNQ, okay, it's still uh, hang to the upside there. Um, the another sector is the XLY, which is the consumer uh, discretionary. It's still doing very well, it, and this one here, a lot of stock uh, like, uh, yet you can see TSLA, Tesla, the Piriton, okay, and then they uh, they hit to the level here, and people take up, but they are still have momentum to move further to the upside, so. Uh, so that they have room to move. And in this sector, you all see some stock uh, try to turn around, oh, okay, like Lucid, that's a new competition with Tesla. So they get uh, delivery uh, their uh, first car uh, this week. So definitely it, it will give them some, moment, some momentum to move to the upside. 
XPEV is another Chinese car battery to Chinese uh, car to very strong there. And if you look at the um, XRT, which is another sector retail, they also it doing very well, especially like Costco stuff. That is the best of the best. They are still moving very well there. Uh, Nike, it's also very strong there. Uh, BJ, another wholesale uh, club, uh, still uh, hold tight to the upside. So, uh, for the month of November, uh, uh, you know, after I uh, scanned through a lot of sector and stock, I find out that some uh, stocks that you should have in your wallet. And those stocks will be a benefit, uh, the benefit of the infrastructure deal. So first of all, the one that we uh, have been talking, that's the green energy. Okay, so this is those stocks that you should watch out, FCLN. So the green energy uh, sector, they also technology, but they related to the green energy. And then they have been doing very well, and they can new put to the upside. So the ticket symbol is QCLN. The next one is LCLN. Uh, okay. So this one here, another one at the Clean Energy ETF. They also break out and momentum is too strong there. And some stuff that you can see it like Blo uh, Bloom Energy. The ticket symbol BE. They are pretty strong and continue to move back up. Another small uh, one. Okay, that's the plug, P-L-U-G, this one here also uh, be able to work out and continue to the upside. And a, a other cyber security stock that also benefit from the infrastructure deal, uh, like I told you uh, last week, CIBR, okay, to watch out because the stock would continue to rumble to the upside. And ET, another one that pretty strong there, P A N W it also a pretty strong. Okay, so so so, so basically the green energy, the cyber security, uh, those kind of stuff that definitely they will uh, uh, benefit of the infrastructure deal if they are going to finalize here. So should you just focus on those sectors and then looking for the best stock to buy. And that definitely will help you uh, on your portfolio for the month of November. So beside this stock, if you are busy working, uh, you can subscribe to our Wall Street Premium Watchlist, where uh, we will handpick many stock daily and analyze in detail with the uh, top lot and the target so that you can follow. I hope that you enjoy my analysis. Uh, please don't forget to click the thumb up like button so that they can uh, help me to roll my channel. Thank you for watching. Good luck in your trading. I will see you during the week. Take care, everyone.